So this is one that I picked up recently and decided I'd do a quick little review for it. It is Gator Bait. Look at that one. That looks like a very classy film. And if you're looking at it and you're getting any uh, judgments on what you think this is, it probably is exactly what you think it is. Now, I ran across this DVD originally when we were filming Door 1 of the Five Doors to Hell at a uh, video store, local video store. They had this and the sequel. And it wasn't for sale. But I remember immediately thinking, that looks like something that I probably should watch. And I figured what we were dealing with here with this would be a uh, sort of like I spit on your grave kind of ripoff. But I was shocked when I did some, you know, research and realized that this actually predates I spit on your grave. But nonetheless, this is an old DVD from a company that I'm sure is not around anymore. Uh, Pana, what does it say? Panama Films, PanamaFilms.com. You have to check that out. See if it's still around. But I found this at McKay's, relatively cheap. So I was like, I'll pick it up and. We'll test it out. So basically, the uh, the girl you see on the front there, she's illegally hunting gators in the swamp or por porching, poaching, is that the word? Poaching gators. And she's been spied on by like this dumb hillbilly and this really kind of equally dumb, you know, sheriff deputy. And he's the uh, son of the sheriff, but he's deputy. And basically, they're going to uh, threaten to lock her up for poaching if she doesn't sleep with them. So they try to, uh, you know, harass her and one thing leads to another she throws some snakes on the boat that they're in and the deputy ends up accidentally killing the the dumb hillbilly which means they got to lie to his paw and them who are equally redneck swamp people and they decide with the sheriff that they're going to go find her and kill her and uh, that's going to be the revenge and they end up you know tracking her down she's got a family and they kind of mess with that which ends up kind of taking us into the revenge portion of the movie and for what it was it, it, it's sleazy it may not have been as sleazy as i expected it to be but that's not necessarily a bad thing you know there's some nudity it never gets as bad as i spit on your grave would later on with that type of rape and revenge movie but it, it it keeps you occupied it keeps you like like interested in what's going on even if it's not necessarily that great you know if you know what i mean uh this girl here is kind of playing a, a chick with like a cajun accent but it's more like a french accent or maybe it's an Italian accent. I don't know about accents. But either way, it's not Cajun accent she's got. This is a former Playboy Playmate, by the way. Uh, but nonetheless, the uh, the movie introduces some pretty interesting elements. Like, you know, there's these kind of inbred, you know, brothers that are that are there. And the sheriff's kind of just going along for everything. And, of course, she's having a fight to protect her people. And it introduces a very interesting word, a kunas, which... I've never heard nobody be called a coon ass before, but it's said a thousand times in this movie. And if you want to do a drinking game, you can take a shot every time somebody hollers at, and uh, you'd be drunk pretty quick. So I'm giving it a three out of five. Nothing mind blowing, but nothing terrible. Uh, it actually has some interesting features on it. The director's there talking about his ordeal for a heart attack and how he found Jesus and all that after that. That's one of the specials on there. There's a making of thing where basically the director and his wife, who I think she might have helped direct too, I think it's his wife kind of just sit there and answer questions so it's it's one of the it feels like one of the early days of dvd but it's okay so that's gator bait maybe i'll check out part two i don't know it's kind of a rape and revenge although it's kind of little through i don't even know if there was any rape in this movie but definitely they were heading that direction they just kind of don't ever get there but it is a revenge flick and it's okay for what it is so check it out